this asteroid wipers out. Earth. In a time before humans and before cringe, this planet was ruled by the dinosaurs. Aliens. Until they were evicted by an asteroid, banishing them to the Shadow Damn. Realm never to be seen again, but giving rise to the flesh. Well, well I, I guess dinosaurs are flesh too, but like, human flesh came with acne and stuff. And uh. now... We humans live here, but who's to say that Universal Landlord might not- Yo, chat, do you think aliens was before us on this planet, or nah? Come knocking again with another asteroid. And by who's to say, I mean, we're all saying it. Everyone knows. The, the, like, I'm sure you've seen the headlines. There is an asteroid heading towards Earth. Right now, it is at a 1.5% chance of hitting. Wait, 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 what, what do you mean we all know this? Wait, 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 wait chat, you, you knew this? Chat, is this like in the news? You heard it. You know? Oh, hey, why did no one... You guys don't want to warn me? Why not are you telling me? What do you mean common knowledge? It's my first time hearing about it. Wait. We're going to be hit by an asteroid in 2032? In eight years, we're all dead. Oh, it's a 2% chance. Oh my god, we're all dead. Yo, 2% chance is actually crazy in the space, in like the space world. That's actually crazy. 2% chance. That's really fucking close. That is really close. Oh my god. Wait, would it wipe us all out? Earlier today, it was at like a 3% chance of hitting a couple days ago. It was like a 2.5% chance oh, of hitting. Oh, it's going down in percent. Which are actually really high. Some of the highest recorded probabilities of a huge asteroid hitting this planet in a long, long time. That dirty... Oh, why have I chose to watch this video? Because now I'm going to panic thinking I'm dead in the year 2032. Now I'm not even going to plan past the year 2032. Now I'm going to be... Bro, now I'm going to spend the rest of my time until the year 2032 trying to make a bunker in the UK. Google how hard is it to make a bunker in the UK. We ain't got, we ain't got God is big enough. Now I don't know what to do. I got seven years to come up with a plan. You bastard out there. I've been shaking my fist at it for the last couple hours <sighs> saying, Scram! Get out of here. But from what I can tell, it's not working. It is big, but it's not you know, a planetary killer. Uh, the size that, should it actually impact Earth, it would destroy a city. So it's a city killer, which is- Oh, okay. So it's like Russian roulette with the cities. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking, but you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking. Just, like, I'm not gonna say where I'd aim the asteroid, but like, if we could choose, can we like, not the UK. Bro, listen, listen. The UK is the size of a city. That's unfair, man. If it's the UK, we're all wiped out. You know what I'm saying? Which is really big. And that's pretty concerning. So I was watching and researching, trying to figure out, well, are the odds actually as high as that seems to me? Because as a RuneScape player, 3%? Those are good odds, actually. Like, that's that's pretty fucking solid. So I was curious about these estimates. Uh, now, again, it has gone down. It is no longer 3%. It's dropped to about a 1.5% chance that it impacts in 2032. The only thing that's known for sure is this asteroid does pose a threat of actually impacting, and should it impact, it won't be pretty. Of the destruction. You know what, chat? With, like, how many asteroids there are in space, I'm surprised we don't get hit more often by bigger asteroids. We rot on each other in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Um, this is 500 times more powerful than that, just because of the energy of it coming through the atmosphere, causing shock waves, and because of the heating, exploding. So uh, it, it's like a grenade. A grenade is no bigger than your fist, but it can do damage over a wide area. This is a grenade we do on long time, 60 yeah. meters across. This is astronaut Chris Hadfield briefly going over the destructive capabilities of the asteroid. And then it got me wondering, well, if the percentage continues to climb, is there anything we can do about it? Are we just hopeless sitting ducks out here waiting to get fucked? Like what? Right, chat, hear me out. Hear me out. And you could be honest. Tell me if I've watched too many movies. But can't we just blow it out of the sky? Like, can't we just aim a nuclear missile up at the asteroid and fucking blow it up?
Too many movers. Or can't we send a team like to go to the asteroid, land on the asteroid, and then what did they do in the movie? They dug at it and blew it up from the inside. Wait, NASA's moved an asteroid before. Yes, I have a one. No, they can do that. Yeah, changes to yeah, yeah, changes path. What exactly do we have? Because I recall we have Dart, which I remembered successfully did change the trajectory of a oh, space wait. rock. Oh, like, really? It, we we confirm that it can be done, but can it be done to something on this scale? Or are we truly just like square one? Now we're going to need to figure out maybe some kind of defensive protocol. Like maybe we send me out there with a cartoonishly large tennis racket to bat it away. Like what What do we have? I vote for so that, that idea. So to a YouTube channel, Scott Manley, who was talking about it. So the name 2024 YR4, that tells us that, well, it was discovered in 2024. Why means it was discovered in the last two weeks of the year. And R4 means that they've discovered about 100 asteroids before that. But, you know, they, they get numbers and designators towards the end to tell just the order it was discovered in the year. Yeah, the rock has a name, so you can curse it. It's not Voldemort. Go ahead and say its name. 2024 YR4. I highly recommend watching Scott's full video. I can't lie. It sounded like some Star Wars robot character. On this, this because asteroid. he gives great coverage and goes over like exactly how they even get to these numbers, which I found very interesting. So he was talking about the observation as they were following this asteroid and looking at the orbits. He also does mention that there's going to be another encounter in 2028, but that one will definitely miss. This is something they can say with certainty. So 2032 is the main impact that the story is breaking on because as it climbed over 1% last month, it is increased. You know, even. you know what though? You know what? The asteroid just taking out the size of like a city. We got a good chance we're living. You know what I mean? You got a very good chance. So maybe I won't make a bunker. But you know what's actually scary, chat? The fact that like asteroids can just hit us. Like we're just there floating around in space. You know what I mean? Like what if some, I, I like black holes, bro. You know, if black holes come up to us and swallow us. What do we do? We can't run away. We can't put a jet on Earth. Bro, that's crazy to think about. But then again, I think we live in a simulation on a whistle. What's Captain Planet? Um, we're going to be done with this because I, I don't see how we're going to go 13 minutes in this. When it's just about one asteroid. Tectonic plates. Yo, chat, I don't know why, but I got a very weird feeling that some of Alien Wise is going to come out this year. I don't know why. I've been saying this for ages. You know how, like, some crazy happens every year? I got some weird-ass feeling, bro, that some alien news is coming out. On like, a, on, like, another planet or, like, far away or a signal. I don't know. I just, I just got some weird feeling that something's coming. That's just gas. It's alien gas. Bro, the closest thing we got to it is on Mars, there was like a triangle pyramid. Which looks kind of crazy. I can't lie. That does look kind of crazy.